Hello and welcome back. The uh, National Association for Community Health uh, uses the following set of questions, uh, which I think are an excellent place for us to talk about um, thinking about sexual health. Um, the three screening questions that they ask are, have you been sexually active in the past year? Uh, do you have sex with men, women, or both? Uh, and how many people have you had sex with in the past year? Uh, this is used to help identify uh, concerns, health concerns, that um, might be appropriate for the different, um, different groups. So, first of all, if you have uh, new or multiple partners, it's important to understand about uh, STD protection, protection from um, sexually transmitted disease, particularly HIV, but others as well. Um, how many partners, um, uh, understanding if STDs are present, how many partners uh, are at risk. Um, substance use is another mechanism where disease can be um, transmitted. Um, and history of STDs is, uh, is again an important uh, factor that can help us understand uh, health risks. Uh, pregnancy and pregnancy protection is important when multiple partners are, uh, are, are, uh, are common and sexual function and satisfaction are other concerns. Um, Long-term monogamous partners typically um, would like to know about uh, protection from pregnancy, whether there's trauma or violence or abuse in the relationship. Um, whether sexual function is uh, is is um, being met and satisfactory, um, and any other concerns about that long term relationship, and then um, not sexually active people, it's uh, important to ask about past partners, um, and if there are any questions or concerns re regarding uh, not being sexually active, whether the person is happy not being sexually active, or whether that person is uh, in some way concerned. Uh, about sexual function, and, and that's preventing them from being sexually active. Um, Follow-up includes STD testing, HIV testing, counseling, and education um, to make sure people are happy with their uh, sexual expression. So let's talk a little bit about uh, sexually transmitted diseases. This is uh, surveillance from um, the Centers for Disease Control, this is 2020 data, looking at adolescents and young adults. Uh, it's um, interesting to know that human papillomavirus HPV uh, has the highest prevalence um, and incidence uh, in the United States. That is a disease that uh, there is a very effective vaccine for. Uh, in fact, getting vaccination will prevent um, cervical cancer or penile cancer. Um, looking further down the list, you can see chlamydia, one of the more common sexually transmitted diseases. Again, it can be treated uh, in gonorrhea and HIV. Uh, in the United States, about one in every five people have suffered from an STI, a sexually transmitted infection. Um, so around 68 million infections in 2018, uh, 26 million new STIs, um, and half of the new STIs are among the youth, among college-aged people in 15 to 24 age group. Um, the cost of that to the United States is nearly $16 billion uh, a year. Uh, three of the biggest uh, in terms of cost are chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. Um, they they make up uh, 1.1 billion direct medical costs. So let's take a look at chlamydia. Um, this is the uh, this is a graph showing the rates of chlamydia in uh, males and females of different ages. You can see that the peak age group is uh, 20 to 24. Um, uh, so this is a this is a, of concern, a high concern to college age students. Um, here we go. Chlamydia is highest in men who have sex with women only, um, and chlamydia. To uh, summarize, chlamydia it's a um, 
a disease that's caused by a bacterium called uh, Chlamydia trachomatis. Um, can affect both men and women. Uh, women tend to have chlamydia in the uh, the cervix, uh, although the rectum and throat are also possible infection sites. Um, men typically get chlamydia inside of the uh, urethra of the penis, um, but can also have infections in the rectum or the throat. Uh, and symptoms inclu include uh, vaginal discharge or burning sensation, pain, um, for both, uh, for both men and women, men can have uh, uh, burning and itching and uh, swelling of one or both testicles. Uh, chlamydia is very treatable and should be treated with a course of antibiotics, uh, as well as informing any sexual partners, previous sexual partners, about an infection. Gonorrhea, again, gonorrhea is um, uh, incidence is highest in the 20 to 24 age group. Uh, gonorrhea um, is most common in men who have sex with men, but it was also seen at high rates in men who have sex with women. Uh, gonorrhea is um, uh, common uh, common in young adults. Uh, you can see um, these uh, these sores that occur um, in the genital tract, the mouth, or the anus. Um, Sometimes gonorrhea is not uh, easily um, observed. The symptoms can be quite mild. Um, uh, particularly in women, uh, symptoms can be mild to start with, uh, but later can cause bleeding between periods, pain when urinating, um, and can be uh, can can lead to pelvic inflammation if left left untreated, which can result in infertility. Again, the treatment is with antibiotics and um, talking to any previous sexual partners. Syphilis. Uh, syphilis uh, rates are uh, high in the um, 20 through 30 uh, age group. They are higher in, uh, in men. Uh, syphilis is um, caused by bacterium. Uh, and it um, causes these um, uh, small painless sores, sometimes uh, lymph node swelling. Um, it can remain fairly dormant for a number of years, but um, uh, became, can become much, much worse uh, over, over time. Uh, and you can see here um, a person who has suffering from syphilis and has the infection showing these spots on, on their hand. Um, it, is, uh, it is again treatable with antibiotics and again, uh, talking to previous sexual partners is uh, essential to make sure we uh, cut out the spread of this. Uh. Let's talk about drugs and sex. Um, alcohol is notorious for reducing in, uh, inhibitions, uh, but let's be clear, uh, you must always ask uh, for consent uh, with sexual activities and have a clear response from the person that that is, uh, is their wish. Um, if you see somebody that is incapable of giving clear consent, protect that person. Um, they are vulnerable uh, and they, uh, they need your help. Uh, there are date rate drugs that, drugs that have been used on college campuses. It is a growing concern. If you suspect that has occurred to you, um, immediately talk to campus security and, and get, uh, and get, uh, get help get them to uh, investigate. 